Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we are playing Proto Corgi. Uh, like usual, I go into these game blind and I have no idea what it's about. But uh, all I know, you play as a space corgi. Uh, so we got a little intro right here. So we're going to let it play a little bit and see how epic this is. It's The trailer is freaking nuts. Uh, it's very anime-ish, very pixel art-ish. And... <laughs> Here we go, like I said, right here. I'm getting heavy Mega Man vibes on this. Let this play out a little bit. So your Corgi is a robot. Aw. Who's good puppers? So we gotta fight a mech, so very Dr. Wily-ish. Yeah, when I uh, picked up this game on Steam, uh, this game looks pretty decent. Uh, we'll see how it plays, but um, it wasn't in popular new releases, so... But it has very positive reviews, so we'll see how it is. It's a fairly uh, cheap game if you ever want to pick it up, but we'll see what this game is about first. I wonder if they had a custom track for the song. Okay, so that's the intro. We're gonna go ahead and hop straight into the uh, campaign. Once the options come up, there we go. So, Proto Kogi, here we go. He can teleport, he can do it all. Initializing pup abilities training. Okay, so looks like it's a side scroller. Very simple buttons. It's pretty much. Okay, so you can use the thumbstick. Move up, down, left, and right. Okay. Hold left trigger, oh, left bumper to move slower. Okay. And X to shoot. <laughs> it shoots barks. <laughs> I'm sure that'd get annoying fast. Hold X to shoot. Hold. Okay, so it looks like this is a side-scrolling uh, shooting game. I'm not sure what type of uh, genre that you said games are called. Uh, I think there's still bullet hells. So this is our second bullet hell in, in a row. Very peaceful music. Very uh, celestial. I wonder if this game is going to be on the easier side. Uh, there was a difficulty option. We chose the second difficulty. There was pup, puppist, corgi, and then corgiest. Uh, whoa! I got hit by something. I can't really tell the difference between space debris and pickups. This has that Ducktales NES uh, Ducktales soundtrack. I just got hit again. So really not off to a good start, but we got a nice power up. Okay, so we got a big uh, koi fish sliding in space. Those things will survive anything. So let's pick up these. We'll see how the live system works. The biggest thing, the hardest thing to keep focus on is I got such a big monitor and the resolution of everything is just so huge. The um, the sprites, it's kind of hard to focus on what is an enemy and what is a pickup. There's a lot going on. So we just gotta swim through that. Everything's just melting. I wouldn't call this a Contra killer, but <laughs> there is a lot going on. Okay, so I think it's pretty easy to avoid. This is a pretty banging soundtrack, to be honest. We just started the game. 
This dog is super cute. Okay, so we exit out of the fish's butt. Oh! Okay, so we just got warped out. Looks like there's a giant space battle going on. Yeah, this has a lot of anime aesthetic to it. Oh no! What happened to the koi fish army? <laughs> the space force, it's gone! Where are they falling to? There's no gravity in space. Well, I really want to count on video games to be the most realistic in physics. What? Killed me! So we get a continue. Okay. How many continues do we get is the question. Yeah, I just couldn't see what killed me. And maybe it was an explosion? I really just wanted those pickups. What? Oh, okay. I thought that hit me. Uh, so there is no health bar. You get hit. That's it, pretty much. There are so many power-ups coming up on the screen right now. Your character gets pretty OP pretty fast. Yeah, I love dogs. I don't know about too many people that, are, uh, that aren't that are dog people where I live. To my friends. Even people who are cat people love dogs. Um, not all people, but uh, out of my friends at least. I personally have a, uh, a dachshund, a little wiener dog. Yeah, he has, um, he's really tiny in the uh, superiority or uh, Napoleon uh, complex. Thinks he can tug on everything. Okay, so. Looks like we're taking on the sea force. We got clamshells on right now. Shooting everything. Yeah, this has the exact opposite problem as the last game I played. Last game I played had two color tones. <laughs> this game just has them all. This reminds me of like a crazy Super Nintendo game. Controls are fairly simple. I'm just holding X and moving the thumbstick around. Okay, so I'm shooting lasers, missiles, and bones out. That rock would have killed me if it wasn't for my bones. Warning, okay, we got a boss. Oh, wow, we're finding a Gundam. Oh, crap, got a laser gun. Okay. Doesn't seem to be much challenge. Okay, there's a health bar up there. Hopefully this game becomes a little bit more challenging in, uh, in the future. If it does it, then I'll have to put this on the therapeutic side. Fairly simple for boss standards. And there he goes. Oh, he has a face too. Okay. Let's see what he can bring. Oh, crap. Got missiles. Get all my pickups again. Okay, so there's reticles for um, where the missiles are flying. I missed that the first time I got hit. Pretty easy to avoid. Just don't run into the boss. Okay. He has a third phase now. Oh, crap. What does that do? Ah! Okay, so that shoots in a straight line. Oh, I see how it works. Fires kind of like a cone shape. Okay, so is there going to be a phase four? Or is that it? Oh, huh, he still had health on his health bar. Okay, we're going back to more serene music. Oh, this is a banger of a track right now. Okay. 
I don't really see the point of picking up, uh... Okay, so I picked up a new power-up. I don't know what it does. Okay, get some barks out. I don't really see the point of getting, uh... Picking up the fruits for scores. So this is kind of a close range defense. Which might be pretty good. I'll act like a sh barrier shield. Okay, so we're in another, probably the space station right now. What are those things? They look like french fries in a, uh, a fried case. They got some HP. Okay, so it's getting a little crowded right here. Let that shoot the beam. Let's go across. Done. Okay. So they're going to come out infinitely. No, they come out in waves. So the game is picking up a little bit in terms of uh, bullet hellish. Okay, I don't know the purpose of those. Probably just uh, kill those just to get a higher score. But we're not really paying attention to score. We're just trying to do the campaign to get the story. Okay. These are really intricate space stations. <laughs> not practical of, by any means uh, from an engineering standpoint. Go down. Okay. Nice that they give you warnings. What is this, another boss? A mini boss. Yeah, this is giving me a heavy, uh, if you like Mega Man, plus, uh, Bullet Hells. Wow. Game over. Where's it gonna take me? Finish the game. Press A. Uh, difficulty, puppets, new ranking. Okay, so we can get rankings. Oh, wow, there's, uh... A lot of people playing this game. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, we're pretty far down the list, so. Okay, so we got some achievements. Let's get rid of this. Oh my god. Does this take me straight to the beginning of the campaign? So this is kind of old school, uh, like... So, let's take a look at, uh, Crate of Corgi real quickly. So, I didn't do too hot in that game, that round. A lot of it was due to the fact I couldn't see what's going on. Um, uh, how do I move? Okay, so you can actually just literally build a Corgi. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, exit out of this. So, okay, it takes us right back to the beginning. We'll try this again. It has a pretty slow start. Oh, this is the test stage. Okay. Um... How do I exit? Okay. There we go. Turn the title screen. So, um, we're going to keep this episode pretty short since we died pretty early. And I don't... We're going to go for a longer haul in uh, beating the game. So, uh, the episode might be a little bit longer. So we will end the episode here for now, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.